Trileka. Today uh, I will discuss about the pests of paddy DA-132. Okay, so here first I will list out the pests and then we will discuss about uh, different pests. So first pest, stem borer. Paddy, stem borer. Dini manam, yellow, stem borer. Paddy, yellow, stem borer. Then second one, garnish. Price, garnish. And next, BPH, brown, plant, hopper. Rice, green, leaf, hopper. Green, leaf, hopper. Then, rice leaf folder. Yellow panther mite. Yellow panther mite. Rice is pump. So these are important pests of paddy. So now I will discuss about paddy yellow stem borer. So rice yellow stem borer. So first I will discuss scientific name, family and next thing marks of identification, symptoms of damage. Then management. In each topic I will discuss the important point uh, related to exam point of view. So scientific name of uh, rice or paddy in the is Scyphophaga insertulus. Scyphophaga insertulus. And family is Pyralidae. Pyralidae. Order Lepidoptera. They belongs to order Lepidoptera. Here this is a scientific name. And it is family. This is order. And next marks of identification. An important uh, thing is this rice elastomer is a monophagous pest. It will attack and or we can see this pest on only on paddy crop. That's why we call it as a monophagous pest. So marks of identification. Female moth. Straw yellow color wings. Straw yellowish color wings. Having black spot. Two black spots on four wings. So for example here one black spot and here one black spot is present. Okay. This is uh, related to female. In case of males four wings are straw yellow color but they don't have any black spots. Black spots are not conspicuous. Okay? There is no black spots. And uh, larva. Larva is whitish color larva and brown color head. Brown head. And prothoracic shape. Okay, so these are marks of identification. Then, most important thing, symptoms of damage. Here we can see two main symptoms. Dead hearts. Dead hearts during vegetative stage. Vegetative stage. And uh, white ears during heading stage. These white ears also called as chaffy grains or unfilled grains. 
have the grains or unfilled grains. Okay. So now site of oviposition is leaf tips. Leaf tips. For example, here it is paddy leaf. And here you can see the eggs. Okay. And these eggs are covered with the tuft of hair. And remember one thing, female moths having tuft of hair on the abdomen, like here, like this. Okay. So then site of pupation inside the stem. So next thing, management. Clipping of leaf tips. Clipping of leaf tips. Prior to transplanting to avoid egg mosses. To avoid egg mosses. So then seedling root dip method. Seedling root dip method. Here in this technique we can uh, use uh, chlorophyllipos chlorophyllipos 0.02 percent which means 200 ml of chlorophyllipos in 200 liters of water and this solution applied to 3 meters into 3 meters plot and 12 to 24 hours so this uh, area of nursery is used for one acre, sufficient for one acre area. And by this technique we can avoid we can avoid a pest up to 30 days. Pests are like paddy yellow stem borer, BTH. Garbage, etc. Okay, so next uh, application of uh, carbofuron granules. Application of carbofuron 3G granules. So these are at the rate of 200 grams per center. And uh, preservation of uh, natural enemies. And uh, releasing of uh, egg parasitoids like trichogramma kilonis. Trichogramma kilonis. This is egg parasite. So remember one thing egg parasite names are mostly start with uh, genus trichogramma. Okay? So if you See this trichogramma, it is related to egg parasite. Okay, so these are different uh, uh, things like uh, scientific name and site of oviposition, site of pupation, marks of identification, symptoms of damage, and management. So these are uh, most important uh, bits from rice yellow stem border. Then we will discuss about the test rice garbage. Scientific name Orsiolia horizae and family Cecidomidae order Diptera. Here marks of identification female is mosquito like. And uh, 3 to 3.5 mm long, having orange reddish color, bright orange reddish color abdomen, 
it is a swift of swift of flight and uh, males males are smaller than the females and next symptoms of damage here these garbage uh, flies uh, enter into the apex shoot apex and then they feed inside the galls and uh, they form radial ridges radial ridges on the leaves leaf sheath leaf primordium and uh, elongation of leaf sheath elongation of leaf sheath and next thing halo whitish green colored cylindrical tubes halo whitish green color green color cylindrical tubes called galls you can observe these galls in the field due to damage of gall means and we can see this pest at tillering stage nursery and up to tillering stage nursery to tillering stage and this maggots cannot cause a damage during panicle initiation stage we can see this pest at the tillering stage up to up to tillering stage so from nursery to tillering and during panicle initiation we can see this pest no pest so here uh, management using uh, different biotypes for the garden management and the seedling root dip method seedling root dip method with the chlorophyll pests and next thing uh, escape to escape the pest we can sow early early sowing or early transplant transplanting of pad by this we can escape this garbage and uh, parasitization with the help of platygaster or ice platygaster or ice so these are important thing management so this is uh, overall about rice garbage arcelia oryza is a dominant family diptera order and female is a mosquito like and three to 3.5 mm in uh, uh, size long and it having bright orange reddish color abdomen it is a swift of fly and the uh, males are smaller than the females and the symptoms of damage they will uh, affect the shoot portion and radial ridges we can see the radial ridges on the leaf primordium and elongation of leaf sheath halo whitish green colored cylindrical tubes called as galls and mainly this pest attack uh, from nursery to tillering stage and we can't see the maggots uh, during panicle initiation stage so next we will discuss about the rice brown plant hopper brown plant hopper so scientific name nila parvata nugens nila parvata nugens family delphacidae and order hemiptera so here are marks of identification these uh, plant hoppers are brown in color dorsally brown and uh, dark brown ventrally dark brown in color ventrally they are dark brown in color and uh, we have uh, in this there are two types females and males females are 5 mm in long and males are 4.5 mm long and here in these are two types brachypteris and macropteris brachypteris macropteris macropteris means having full wings living and these are short wings short wings so 
okay then uh, larva uh, is also brown in color and then symptoms of damage hopper bone is the main symptom due to attack of pph hopper bone so in nymphs and adults both uh, suck the sap okay they will say, sit on the plant base at base or clump right on rice clump in groups and they will suck the sap and they inject toxic saliva while feeding inject toxic saliva while feeding both nymphs and adults cause damage nymphs and adults okay so here we can see the symptom hopper bone and the drying of the plants drying of the plants in circulated fashion isolated circulation circular fashion and straw turned to smooth straw turned to smooth and not used for the straw turned to smooth and not used for any operations okay so next damage uh, these are damage symptoms and next thing we will discuss about management management main thing is early waste formation of early waste for every uh, 20 centim uh, 2 meters for every 2 meters 20 centimeter wide early waste ok so these early waste help in circulation of air circulation of air and the easy application of uh, pesticides or any fungicides fertilizers and easy monitoring easy monitoring and less distribution of pest from one area to another area ok so less damage so this is very important obviously for competitive exams always related to which pest means bp h brown plant hopper and next thing avoid monoculture avoid monoculture monoculture is uh, nothing but cultivation of uh, same crop for several years is, not, is called as monoculture so uh, by avoiding monoculture we can avoid the bp h in the crop then uh, resistant varieties like Vijeta, Godavari, Chaitanya. These are different resistant varieties, resistant to BPH. And next, uh, uh, conservation of natural enemies. Conservation of natural enemies like mirid bugs, coccinellid bugs. Mirid bugs and coxmill, coxmillid bugs. So these bugs will eat BPH. By that they control the BPH. So that's why we should conserve the natural enemies in the field. So these are different management about uh, BPH. So I today I discussed about uh, paddy stem borer. First of all I discussed about list out and then paddy stem borer, dry mitch and uh, brown plant hopper so if you like this video please uh, like share and uh, subscribe